Welcome back to the Hockey Shop Source for Sports. We're down here in Goalie Utopia, surrounded by the latest and the greatest. And Cam. We're going to talk a little neck guard here. Um, we're going to talk multiple neck guards here once I get you to stop laughing. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I got nothing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to make you feel good about yourself, my friend. It's all about self-confidence. Uh, speaking of self-confidence, I got to say, when I'm wearing this neck guard, and we're going to get through all of them, um, I got a ton of confidence because I've taken some absolute clap bombs off this thing. Uh, and, you know, me, I normally like close my eyes and pull everything back and away from the puck because I suck, which exposes my neck. This thing is really protective. Uh, let's walk through all the different models. Maybe we'll end with this one, Cam, because it's a newer model, not by a brand that a lot of people will recognize. Let's start with what you're wearing. Bright red, fashionable, from Vaughn. What are some of the different models and some of the different options in terms of certified, non-certified? I'll turn it over to you. Walk us through your area of expertise in next neck protection. All right. So what I'm wearing right here is the Vaughn SLR uncertified neck guard. Uh, and what that means is, and we'll cover that really quick. So certified, a B&Q certified neck guard as required by minor hockey means that there's ballistic nylon sewn into the actual neckline of the, the neck guard itself. What that will prevent against is uh, skate cuts. Um, it needs to have that stamp right there. Be B&Q certified. Uh, why we have neck guards that are uncertified and things like that, I'll kind of cover here. For starters, with this SLR neck guard that I was wearing, um, again, it doesn't have that higher neckline and doesn't fully wrap around in the back, so it's an uncertified neck guard. For me personally, because I'm not playing minor hockey anymore, I don't need to wear that. Um, I choose to wear actually uh, one of the player turtlenecks that does have the P&Q certified neck guard um, in it, so at least I have kind of some sort of slosh guard protection there. But for me, I've always kind of hated the feeling of something being like wrapped around my neck. So um, this is a little bit more open, still allows my good freedom of movement, but I'm still getting good collarbone protection um, overall from the actual neck guard itself. And not something to be uh, misconstrued here a little bit. Some do provide good overall neck protection, which we'll cover in a second. But if you're really concerned about the overall neck, wear a dangler. Um, that's gonna give you the most protection overall. Um, I'll be honest, I'll be one of the first ones to say that I don't, Wear one. Oh, so I was just going to say, you like immediately went into Darren Millard's good books when you said wear a dangler and told everyone to wear a dangler. And then the follow up is, I don't. As a common theme in the entire world right now, don't do what Johnny Don't does. Can you gonna, take a second to comprehend yeah, that? Yeah, I'm not a, a second. Yeah. You can almost see like the little wheels turning in my head. Um, okay. So certified, non certified, different yes. options within different models. Correct. Yeah. So now, Basically, what is an identical neck guard, this Vaughn 7000 neck guard um, actually has that B&Q um, certified uh, wraparound. Um, good example, NHL call out to this is Tuka Rask. You can see this one sitting every time you get a shot of uh, his upper torso and, and face and whatnot. You can see this one sticking out. This is exactly what he's wearing, um, although it might be modded a little bit. Who knows? Um, that said, um, very well selling neck guard for us. It's basic, but it gets the job done. It has that B&Q, which you need for that minor hockey. It's still got that good collarbone protection. Little, little higher profile in terms of like a little thicker neck protection, not right. just the, the, the different material, but a little thicker neck protection than the non-certified bone. Correct. Those that are watching, you can really see how much higher it comes up on me versus, uh, that first one that I was wearing. Those that are listening, it's coming basically right up to just below my chin. So. Um, again, good coverage, good protection, a great option to kind of start you off the bat, but we do have more options. I was going to say, I introduced you as a neck expert. What I didn't want to say is, is because you have, you talked about it coming up to your chin. I was going to say, which one? Oh, uh, I was, well, you could really say I was sticking my neck out there for you and you just ran over me. Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> little, ho little holiday, little extra, little extra stuffing at the holiday dinner, eh, bud? Uh, a little extra stuffing. It's Balkan season, Kevin. All right. Bauer. Very comfortable neckline to this one. Not as thick in comparison to the Vaughn. Um, quite a bit wider. And this is just the Bauer Supreme model. The Bauer Supreme line. Yes, exactly. BNQ certified. Correct. Um, quite a bit wider in terms of collarbone protection um, as well. It almost wraps around basically to my shoulders in particular. Again, just giving you that upper padding. Nice stiff neck guard, especially for the padding, integrating their poron into it. Um, and yes, B&Q certified, softer neckline, really allows for an ease of neck mobility on it too as well. 
uh, without that kind of, uh, again, like choking out feel. So it's got the padding around the front, but that B&Q and that higher profile, it's not padded, folks. So it, it, it's a lot more flexible. It's a lot of just material wrapping around the neck to protect you from that skate cut, right. um, but still allow that range of motion in terms of the neck and no interference. Much wider across the shoulders. Just a, you know, actually, uh, to be honest with you, first time I've seen it, and and immediately, despite the fact I talked about um, the model I'm wearing being the one I use, uh, I look at this and I'm like, that's that's one I'd like to try, especially with the pour on built in, especially with that protection through the through the collarbone area. It looks like a really nice model. Again, another one that's a really good seller for us as well. So, uh, but again, as goalies are, as my myself, I like auctions. Brian's Optic Neck Guard. Nothing too fancy with this guy. Uh, what makes it uh, stand out a little bit on the wall? Non-certified neck guard, but very flexible um, with the segmentation that they've offered into it. So again, in terms of integrating it with your chest and mobility wise, it's going to help to move with you and not against you or shift or slide and things like that. Um, a nice high neckline still and a pad neckline with this one, even more so than some of the other uncertified neck guards that we showed kind of just previously. Uh, this one does kind of come all the way up to my chin, so it's a bit taller in that neck for sure. Uh, that said, I still don't feel restricted by it by any means. Um, good level of protection, another great option. Second to last is the one I'm wearing. The Aegis. The Aegis. Interceptor. See, and the reason I didn't use, I couldn't, I wasn't sure how to pronounce it. So I let you lead. So everyone's like, he's been talking about this neck guard five minutes that he's been wearing, and yet we don't know what it is. So this is the Aegis model. Um, the goal net, our friend John at the goal net was, uh, involved in designing this one. He sent us, they sent us an early sample, uh, has the D3O built in. You can see the orange in it, the call out with both the, in terms of the label and the logo, but also you can actually see the D3O in it. Um, it's, it's, it does have a thicker neck in terms of, uh, the, the piece that wraps around the front. If you wear it tight, some people have talked about. You know, maybe it's sitting too high and, and restricting mobility. I just wear mine a little looser and find that I'm, I have no problems with that. Uh, but one of the interesting things is you can actually take that piece of foam that lines the front of the neck, you can actually take it out of the sleeve and trim it and cut it to a more contour shape that allows you to move your neck. So it's removable, it's washable. Um, much like we talked about Bauer having the pour on in it. What I love about this model is the fact they've integrated uh, um, uh, you know, a higher end foam, an impact absorbent foam like D3O. And like I said, I've taken some absolute knocks with this thing and yet to leave a mark. The only time I ever felt one is there is a bit of a gap in between the seams, uh, especially on the earlier, mo the earlier model I had, it looks, feels like they've tightened it up here and I caught a puck that you know, went right in that seam and left a little mark, but you know, we've all been there. It's just part of being a goaltender. You just get absolutely black and blue on the collarbones. Um, I've taken some that in the past with wearing this that I know in past models would have left me black and blue and didn't wearing this model. It is a bit of a bigger unit uh, in terms of profile and fit, but a lot of protection here. What's been the feedback on your end? Obviously, I shared my experiences. Yeah, so I mean, you, you, you touched kind of a couple of really important topics. Like well, one of the things that you can really say about this neck guard, it was designed by goalies for goalies, um, with especially a feedback of, of quite a few prominent, uh, you know, influencers as well as retailers. Uh, as well as to what, you know, specifically we're hearing and what's needed in the market, especially for neck guards. Uh, and yeah, the biggest thing is in that impact protection. Um, as being one myself that's taken a hard one, especially into that like special area in between your mask and, and annual in between that chest guard right up into there. You know, you, that, that impact resistant foam, the tried, proven and tested D3O in there um, is really going to help to make that difference in terms of, you know, whether or not you're just shaking it off and moving on to the next shot or you're down for the count for a while. Let, let's be honest. I am a total drama queen. Uh, anybody who's played with me knows that uh, down for the count is pretty much twice a game for me minimum, whether it actually hurts or not. It's usually uh, after you get scored. Well, then I'd be down for the count all night. But with this model, I am less of a drama queen because I can't feel it. Amazing. There you go. Drama queen approved. We got, we got one more before as much as I'd love to end on drama queen approved, which I, I pretty much had coming after taking a shot at your multiple chins, um, integrated CCM with the shirt. Walk, yes. walk me through this one and, and what makes it special or different. We can see that, you know, it's got your traditional sort of protection in front of the neck in terms of foam, but then also B and Q certified around the neck, more of like a fabric that, that, that 
cut proof fabric around the neck as opposed to a really high profile um, with the the foam layer itself. Correct. So this guy here, um, a lot of extra sternum. I might as well just put it on because it will help to kind of exemplify the coverage and kind of what it's going to do for you here. All right. So, as you can see, uh, it's a little bit of an extra, like, overall layer and whatnot, but a little help here. Get you done up properly. Yeah, perfect. Wraps around a lot of extra chest plate protection, too, as well, so especially for those shots and absorbing them, you have a little bit of an extra layer for coverage. Um, neckline covers quite well, nice stiff padding. You can actually hear that knock, and I'm sure it's still quite audible. Um, again, the B&Q neckline still kind of comes up. It's quite soft too as well. So um, especially if you don't like some of the more irritating like air knit materials and things like that, that, that are used, this one's quite soft. Doesn't bother my neck at all. Um, feel protected. Feels like I'm wearing a really small muscle shirt. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of like I was gonna say, like, like to be honest with you, like, like forget the neck protection. Take that neck protector, and this is pretty much your Saturday night shirt, isn't it? It's going out. This is yeah. what yes. <laughs> so, if you would like some advice on what neck model, what neck protector might fit your game, fit your style, fit your preferences in terms of mobility, um, do you recommend if people can come in store, would you have them put a helmet on? A mask on, maybe in non-COVID times, have them put a mask on and see how it moves? Yeah, you, actually a couple different things. You can throw on a chest pad too as well, throw on what you're wearing, see how it integrates and stuff like that. Most of the time, this is a bit of an autopilot category where, you know, you come in, you look, you buy sort of thing, but it is worth trying on and testing, especially if you have the time, um, especially if you're looking at something different from what you've worn in the past. Um, just see how it feels, how it integrates, because this is one of those products that, you know, again, once you use it, you can't return it. So you want to be, you want to be sure. So. Okay. And uh, if they've got any questions because they can't come in or if they're from out of town and they want to ask you about it, make sure you check out all the reviews at thehockeyshop.com. Cam, where can they get a hold of you for if they got some personal questions? And give me a call at 604-589-8299. And the 1-800 number? 1-800. Up. Okay. Up. Hutch keeps bailing you out. Eventually, we're going to, you know, like that's not going to be funny anymore. It's just going to be incompetent. So we're going to have to get you to actually do some homework. Oh.